together. Deuce Mason joins us live from Sacramento checking out Big Sexy Brewing Company. Hey there, Deuce. Great name. Yeah, Big Sexy Brewing Company looks awesome. It's not just a tasting room. Look around. This is where they make the beer, and you can stand around, enjoy a beer, and watch the guys do all the hard work while you sip on the beer. We're checking out some of the process because, yes, they are brewing right now. Where's my guy, Big Sexy? Get on over here. Yes, they call him Big Sexy. They named the beer after him, right? Yeah. Why they name it? A, why? Why do you have that nickname? I'm a little confused. They call uh, you Big Sexy. I'm, man, I'm looking. No I, I have no idea. It's been following me around for years. <laughs> no, but it's a nickname, and you thought that'd be a cool uh, name for the for the beer. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, James Thompson yeah. named me that, so uh, yeah. every day I thank him. All right, let, <laughs> let's come up this, these stairs. This is cool because we're going to see kind of the boiling uh, uh, process a little bit as we make way for uh, Garcia to come up here. Look at this. This is where it all gets started. What process is this? So this is the boiling process. This is after we've already extracted all the sugars from the grains. It goes in here, you boil it up, and then you add your uh, particular hops for that beer. That's cool. And then it goes into the fermentation. How do you yep. say that? The what? Fermentation tank. Okay. So it right. uh, comes out of here, and then we cool it down. goes into the fermentation tank okay. at about 60 degrees, and that's where we add our yeast. Yeah. Then it ferments. Once it's done, carbonation, and then that's what's going on here is we're kegging it. And this is uh, Frank, and this is... One of our uh, staple beers, Grumpy Pants Ale. That is cool. All yeah. right, well, the grand openings today, we're going to make our way to the bar. That's what's so cool about this place. You can see everything that goes into making the beer that you get to try. And it's cool because the Sacramento craft beer scene is red hot right now. So to add this huge area for people to come out and enjoy beer is cool. Where He mentioned James a little bit ago. So uh, tell me, why did you give him the nickname Big Sexy? Well, look at the damn guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but seriously, uh, this is really cool you guys are opening up today. Yeah. What, what made you guys want to get into this uh, craft beer scene? We're craft beer lovers. We've been fans for 15 years of craft beer, and we think Sacramento could use a special little brewery here. So, And what makes this place so unique? Uh, I think the outdoor feel, um, and we're kind of doing some different things with some different beers. You know, We're doing blends and some sours and stuff where a lot of people are kind of afraid to do those beers. So, All right, let's check out this flight that you uh, just uh, poured uh, just a minute ago. Let, let's go over some of these. Uh, what do we have? Okay, we have Sexy Mexi, which is a Mexican craft lager. Ooh. We have Daytime Ish. It was supposed to be a Session Blonde, but it came in at 6%, so we called it Ish. <laughs> okay, I like that. Yeah, it's Tricky of... Ricky is a porter. It looks pretty dark, but we called it Tricky because it's a really light, light porter, dr easy drinker. And then also we have Grumpy Pants Ale. We actually named Grumpy Pants Ale after that young man right there. Oh, let's show him. Right. right here. That's Oliver Bell. He's 93 years old, just celebrated his 70th wedding anniversary. So we named him after that. Is he really that grumpy? Yeah, he's pretty grumpy. He's got <laughs> his thing up. So here we go. Here's some of our specialty beers. These are really nice. We've got Citra, which is a sour. Okay. Uh, it's made with Citra hops. We've got a red sour. We've got a peach sour. And then we have Goddess of the Vine, which is a super special beer, too. This uh, beer has been aged in wine barrels wow. with uh, with used Cabernet grapes. So it's a really, really special beer. All right, you got Cornhole going on, too. You got the uh, big Jenga over there as well. But the one thing you mentioned, you were going to pour something that yeah. looked pretty cool. What are we pouring here? We're going to pour the 5149, which is our specialty drink. It's a blend between our our porter and our uh, our daytime ish, which changes both flavor profiles pretty nicely. So right, let me go ahead. And let's, start let's, let's let's see this bad boy. This is so cool to have another local beer spot that's got a ton of room. They of course do uh, food trucks too. Uh, how often are you guys open? Uh, we are open Wednesday through Sunday, uh, most nights until eight o'clock. Wow, that is cool. Well, look how cool that, that pour yeah. is. That is awesome. How do you come up with that? Uh, well, we actually, Mark and I sat in there and we wanted to do something kind of a 50 50 blend, but we yeah. actually backed the flavor profile down until we really liked it. Well, you got to come check it out for yourself. Big Sexy Brewing Company is a place to be if you want to try some cool local beer, guys. Back All to you. All right. Thanks, Deuce. Oh, I love the names, too. Very creative. All right. Well, don't let holiday